Salut, Pascal Moscato here. Today, we just have a quick look at the basics of custom properties uh, so that you get the overview of how to create them and what they do. Uh, so let's jump into it. To start, I'm going to be adding an object to my scene to put all of the custom property inside of it. Um, I'll be dropping a null and then I'm going to go into properties tab, editor and custom properties tab right here in the property editor. On the left, I've got all the properties that I can add to my object. And on the right, I have all the properties that my object contain. Right now, there is none. So I'll start by adding a bool to my object by clicking on bool and on the two arrows right here. As you can see, now I have a new custom property and that I can rename from here or I can rename it from this place too. Checkbox. As you can see, it's renamed on, on both places. And just for the sake of it, I'll be adding all of the properties. Integer, there's a minimum value and a maximum value. Same for number, enum. In this box right here, you can put the list you want, mail, female, none. And from this, you'll see the drop list appear right here. Male equals zero, female equals one, none equals two. String, here you can put some text and time code. You can choose which time code you need, 30 FPS. Now I want to bring attention to the fact that all of the of these uh, custom properties have a gray A and with only one exception, it string doesn't have any A, neither uh, a K. This value is not keyable. There is no way you can change text with animation, but you can change it with uh, the Python scripting. Because the A is gray, it means that it's not available for other objects to access it. Uh, we want to turn that on and this is only if you want other object to access it, uh, which we will see in uh, another video, but it's, it's also the case if you want to animate the object, animate the custom property, uh, because if for example, it's gray and you put the key, it's going to activate automatically, but be, be aware that when you remove this, it remove all animation and constraint on this property, which I've seen a lot of people uh, removing this without knowing that it's going to break everything that is uh, attached to it. Let's open F curve editor. If you don't see your custom properties right here, click on base animation and here they are. So if I click on checkbox, it's difficult to see. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's going to change from zero to one. With the colors, you can click on the little black box to see uh, the win the color window. You also have color in alpha. You can do the same thing. Action. Action is interesting because it's a button. So when you click, it goes to one. When you release, it goes back to zero. I use that to uh, trigger script, for example. So as I mentioned earlier, male equals zero, female one, none, two, and it goes on. And you have time code. So that pretty much covered the basics uh, of custom properties. Obviously, we can go deeper and we will in another video. Uh, so that you can see how you can connect all of those custom properties uh, to create custom rigs or to have uh, to trigger Python script and so on. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, uh, recommend to a friend, and I will see you in the next one. À la prochaine!